greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is a merciful God. He loves us with passion that he never wanted any of us to perish, but to repent and have everlasting life. And that is why God keeps on revealing sacred things to reawaken us so that we will not be taken by surprise. So this morning, I want to share with us the secret why many ministers of God are still wearing adornment, even though they are genuine, even though they are called by God himself. And they are still using adornments, they are still using their jewelries, they are still using their trousers, they are still bleaching, some of them are putting ribbon, some of them are putting relaxer, some of them are not even covering their hair. I want to tell you the secret today as God revealed to me in my dream. So I want you to listen so that at the end of this message, you will know that there is need for you to pray for these people. God loves everybody in this world, both the sinner, both the righteous. God loves us all for real. There are some of these ministers, as they are preaching along the line, they come across this, these scriptures in the Bible. God will speak, begin to speak to them. Personally, they will repent. It's not by force. There are times God may send people to warn these people. If they don't take it as they cross over, they will never enter the kingdom of God with this adornment on them. So it is not our place to jealous them. Oh, God love her. God is blessing her. God is giving her anointing and she's wearing adornment. No, that is not our duty. But we need to pray for these people. Some of them, you don't know. They are being deceived by the devil himself. That is why God gave me this revelation, okay? So, there are truly people who are called genuine Christian, genuine female women of God, with much anointing on, on them, yet they are still using adornments. Some of them prophesy uh, preaches with their hair uncovered. But there's time God will arrest them. And if God does not touch them, and they die, well... I don't know. I know that God loves everybody and he does not want us to go to hell. So definitely he will use one or two ways to enlighten us before uh, we kick the bucket. Anna is my younger sister that I remember way back when I was still in university. Uh, she gave her life to Christ before me. Why I'm going to tell you a story linking Anna, my sister, is because many of you believers who are listening to me now, you repented genuinely. You had an encounter with the Lord. Many of you gave your life to Christ. And you know from the beginning that wearing of trousers, preaching with hair uncovered or praying with hair uncovered, attending church with hair uncovered, putting on jewelry, putting on ring, putting on makeup, adornment, payment, your hair, relaxer, wool, and other things. He is against God holy dressing. You know it and you stay away from it. You don't wear bone shorts, you don't bleach, you don't paint, you don't do this, you don't do that. But along the line, many of you start going back to eat one by one, one by one. And when they ask you, say, no, 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 no. God showed me in the dream that this one is okay. You better be careful. When you begin to have dreams of saying that, I saw a dream. God came and showed me that ah, well, I should just do like this. I should do like this. If God say no, it's no to everybody. God will not tell another person, don't wear this. And come and tell another person to wear this. And some people go as far as telling you that uh, uh, our calling are different. That me, uh, Sister Catherine, God called me, my calling is different. If God tells me I should not wear attachment, and I should not wear attachment because that is me. God does not want me to wear. But them here, God have told them that they should wear in their dream. So God is not on top of confusion. You understand? So that many who have this uh, knowledge, genuine knowledge, this sincere knowledge, that many who knew from the beginning that all those things are dormant, is abomination to God. They began to go back to it one after the other. And go, once God has spoken twice about it, that all power belonged unto Jesus, according to Psalm 62, verse number 11. When God has warned you, you don't take it, that's all. He's not coming back to beg you again. God keep on visiting those new combat who have not heard of it. So many of you, your heart is hardened now because you want to hear God telling you, don't wear trousers, don't wear bomb shot every day. But God does not work like that. God is not our mate. God is not a human being like us. That he will tell you something today, tomorrow, he'll come and repeat it again. No, he does not do like that. Except in just rare cases that you see God warn you of something and still repeat and warn you, warn you. But when you get to a time, God will never show, it, show up again. And you will not know. You will think that, ah, God like it and he's talking to you. We have to be very careful. That is the reason why I want to talk about this message. 
That's why I'm bringing my sister in this case because of what people are doing. Many of you started the journey of holiness right, but today you have gone back to Egypt because you listen to false dreams, you allow people to deceive you, and now you are out of the way but you don't know. I want to share the story about my sister then. Briefly, I will not tell you this revelation that God showed to me why I'm sitting down here to share this revelation with us. Now listen, this is it. My younger sister, Anna is her name. Way back in the university, when I wear my clothes, my trousers that I don't use again, I give, it, I give some to her, I give some to uh, uh, Paulina. Both of them will shape to their size. To their body size and they will use it so there was one day i took some of my jeans trousers i gave to anna my junior sister hoping that she's going to take it shape it and start wearing as usual but she told me no i was surprised i said why and she said because she saw a revelation that these things are evil she also listened to a testimony of a lady uh, that went to hell and heaven and saw that people are burning for trousy. I told her, no, she's holding the wrong people. We in Catholic Church, they don't want us not to wear all those things. So I, I continue. After some years, I knew that my sister was right. I later gave my life to Christ. I, I stopped wearing those things as well by the grace of God. And up to now, I have never returned back. Since I came to know the truth, I have been on it. But do you know what? Anna, my younger sister, who told me, that she no longer wear this, she no longer wear trousers, she no longer bleach, she no longer paint. But as I speak to you right now, please, after this message, I want all of you to pray for my sister. My junior sister is wearing her wig. My junior sister is putting on her bum shorts. I mean bum shorts that this prostitute are wearing. My junior sister has gone back to eat. As I speak to you, my junior sister is wearing her less. She's even drinking alcohol. Oh my God, Father have mercy, Father have mercy, Father have mercy on my sister Anna. Remember, she's the first in our family that you show the right to me. Even though she's my younger sister, she stopped following men before me, I came to the knowledge of the truth. She's the first person to stop wearing trousers, she stopped putting makeup in my family. But today, the devil has taken over her. Let her not perish. She's back to her vomit, full time. And when I ask her, she told me that she saw in her dream that God showed her that she should be dressing the way she's dressing. That God said to her that I like the way you appear. That God said to her that this is the standard she should dress. That is not God. Satan is dragging her back to Egypt. Please, my brother, my sister, as you are watching me, I want you to help me and pray for my junior sister. Her name is Anna Oja. The other one is Paulina. To God be the glory, she's still standing. And I am still standing as well to the glory of God. She said that she saw God and God told her to go back to it. Please, God cannot tell you, don't wear trousers and God will come back and tell you, go and wear trousers again. For what? Then God should come and tell the whole world to start wearing trousers. God cannot tell you, don't put with on. And God will come back to tell you, go and start putting with on. Or don't cut your hair. God will come and tell you, start cutting your hair. Please, God will come to the whole world and tell the whole world to do the same thing. I don't believe that. That is not God. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse number 14, Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. He is the one going now, appearing into people's dream. Telling you some useless thing that you should do opposite thing or that God has warned you not to do. And people will not verify. They will not pray and ask God to confirm if truly is God or Satan. They will say, oh, because they saw angel of light in their dream, they believe that is God. It's not all dream that is from God. I, I am telling you the truth. Let me go straight to the dream that I had. In my dream, I saw uh, a momiji or a certain woman of God with her church members. The woman of God was very conscious of heaven. I saw that she's a woman that loved God so much. And her church members, they were very conscious of God. They were very conscious of heaven. They dressed and covered their body quite well. Their body was not showing outside, but they were all wearing trousers. 
they will not tie her tie. The top they put on top of that trouser was a long top. They look good. They look gentle. They are people that uh, they are conscious of heaven. The woman of God, I saw that she loved God and she's very conscious of heaven. So, in this dream, as I, I saw myself standing like facing them in their church, it's, but it's like they are not seeing me. And I saw the woman of God, she was smiling. The members were singing a song like, Our mama in the Lord was visited by the angels of the Lord, and the angels of the Lord applauded her, she and her church member, the way they are dressing pleases God. So they now put turn it into a song. After they finished singing for her, she now came openly and stood before the whole congregation, which I was listening to her. And the woman started saying that, I had a dream that in my dream I saw myself standing before the angel of the Lord and the angel of the Lord said to me, wow, I am so pleased with your work. I am so pleased with the way you dress and your church member they dress. I am so happy that the angel of the Lord applauded her and she was so excited. She's so happy. She found favor in the eye of God. And this woman of God was so excited and she was singing and the whole church was jubilating that they were found worthy before uh, the, the face of the Lord. In that dream, and I said, we trust her with her uncovered. Uh, the angel of the Lord is telling you that your dressing please God, even with that hair uncovered. Even when the woman is on low court, even when the members are putting on jewelries, makeup, long, long, we won. No, I woke up in this dream. And the first thing that came to my mind is, have you seen? This is how Satan goes about deceiving this woman and they believe him. Thinking that he's the angel of God in heaven, the real angel of the Lord that is speaking to them. And now they are comfortable in their sin. I say, oh my God, oh my God, this is really sad. This is a message for the world. God is not speaking to me alone. Remember the word of the Lord in the book of Mark chapter 13, verse number 37, where God said, Whatsoever I say to one, I say to all. This message, my sister, is not for me alone. This message, my brother, is not for me alone. But this message is for the whole body of Christ. Like what I told you about my younger sister, who had a genuine encounter with the Lord Jesus at first, stopped wearing clothes and stopped putting makeup and other thing. But today, my sister came back to tell me, I saw revelation and the Lord told me, I should dress like this, I should dress like this. And today, the devil have hijacked her. I pray that God Almighty, who is faithful and just, who never desired that any should perish, but that all of us should come to repentance and have everlasting life. That God of heaven will deliver my sister today in the mighty name of Jesus. So today God has shown me again that this is the reason many believers, many women of God, many servants of God, many female preachers, they are just comfortably in their adornment, preaching with fire, anointing, prophesying, thinking nothing is wrong with adornment, thinking nothing is wrong with sunshine clothes, thinking nothing is wrong with bleaching, painting, attachment, low coat, hair uncovered and praying to God. They didn't know. That's why God has shown me this because this is what my genius sister saw and it has affected her physically. She's moving now. And today, God just revealed this one to me and I said, no, I must share this message so that somebody can be delivered out there. Brother, sister, are you having the same dream that your wife is wearing makeup and is preaching and is, God is talking to her? That dream is not from God. Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light and is going about like a roaring lion, looking for who he will destroy, looking for whom he's going to devour, looking for whom he's going to bring back to their trap so that that person will miss heaven. Jesus is coming any moment from now. My brother, my sister, look at me and listen to this message that I am telling you. I've not come here to beg you money. I've not come here to beg you for faith. I've not come here to cry out for you to give me food, even though things are not easy here in Nigeria with all of us. No money, ATM is not working. Uh, no, you can't go to the ATM, you can't get money, you see queue, you can't even see even if you sleep dirty next morning. 
you go to the bank, bank will not open, you look for POS, you can't see POS, how do we survive in Nigeria? Things are hard. I only share this message. So think about it. Why would I come to the internet and lie to you so that you will do what for me? I only share what God has shown to me. I am a servant of God with the message. Once you see me here, I'm coming to give you the message. And if I don't have message, I will never bother myself to squeeze lie to come and tell you. But when I have a message, you will always see me in the internet appear. If I don't have a message, you will never see me on this internet. I came here only to deliver God's message. And that's what I want you to do what God has said. So that we all can be found worthy in the eyes of God. So, beloved, I want you to know that many women of God that you see out there, they are not wearing those things on their will, but because devil have perceived them. So, it is left for you and me, whose eye is still seen clearly, who is not being uh, hijacked by Satan yet, that we, we should come out and join and pray for the rest of the female preacher out there. Let's pray that God will, will, will stop all this evil revelation that they are receiving. Let's pray that God will help them to come out of that bondage that they will have kept them. And don't forget to pray for my younger sister, her name is Anna, who devil have also hijacked by showing her lying revelation that Troza is not a sin. Uh, attachment is not a sin. Bomb shot is not a sin. And she's doing it and she's still calling God. She's still preaching to people. She's still talking about God. She's still going to, to pan wine joint and drink pan wine and drink star. The other day they snapped her, they video her and came and showed to me. I said, what? So you still drink alcohol? I saw her in the group of uh, pan wine people, uh, alcoholic people, they were drinking. So please, I beg you. I have shared what God has given to me. My Father, in the name of Jesus, any false spirit that is coming to deceive your children, giving them false revelation, telling them to go back to their for me, what they have taken out from their life on this narrow path, I pray that let the fire be released and consume them in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lie revelation, I frustrate you. Every spirit of lie revelation in the life of the children of God to bring them back to Egypt, I destroy you. And many that are listening to this message all over the world, from today, Lord, those have not been hearing from you. Oh God, I pray that your mercy will open their spiritual eye. Let them begin to hear from you. Speak to them directly and let them hear from you so that they will change from today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, go for evangelism. Spread the message and not gossip. Spread the message and not virus. The Lord is there to help you. The Lord's grace is sufficient unto us. If you seek him diligently, you will find him. Don't fight yourself. Don't quarrel yourself. Give things honest to those who are in need. Help one another. Help those who don't have. I pray God will help us all in Jesus' name.